Good morning. Today we are going to talk about groundwater. We're going to extend what we've learned about how water moves through the atmosphere and talk about how we utilize it a little bit more. In the most basic sense, groundwater is water that's stored in rocks or soil underneath the ground. So at some point here, the place where that water is is what we call the zone of saturation. Saturated because there's water filling that space. That zone of saturation is divided by a water table, which is the line where we separate where there is water and where there's not. The area where water does not exist is called the zone of aeration, or it's aerated because it's filled with open space or air. So from bottom to top, we're discussing groundwater, we go from the area of saturation, the dividing water table, and the aerated space. This all leads up into holes dug into the ground that create wells, which in this area is something that a lot of people use to get their water. In general, but not always, there's two main types of wells that we're going to talk about, ordinary and artesian. Now, ordinary wells are going to have that hole dug below the water table, but are going to have to use some sort of pump to push the water upwards so that we can access it for what we need. On the other hand, an artesian well has enough force below the earth that causes the water to press up without the use of a pump. Now there are also going to be other sources where we're going to see groundwater come up to the surface of the earth. One is going to be a spring or a hot spring. In these areas, we see that the zone of saturation in the water table actually goes above the earth's crust and it's going to allow that water to leak up and leak forward. When we see hot springs as opposed to regular springs, it's because this water down here has been heated by the magma in the earth. So the magma is closer to the surface and heats the water of a spring. So again, a spring is an area where the water table is equal to the level of the Earth's surface, so our groundwater is actually going to be on the surface instead. Another important source of water where we see groundwater coming to see us is a geyser. And a geyser is a pressurized zone of groundwater that can periodically erupt and shoot hot water up into the air. Now the reason that these can shoot is based on a buildup of pressure caused by blockage somewhere in this hole in this zone or in the pores in the earth. So let's recap real quick. Three types of sources for groundwater that we're going to look at in terms of how we see it. A spring, which is going to be a collection of water in which the water table is at the surface of the earth. Wells, sources we use to use water for commercial uses. Where they can either be ordinary or artesian wells based on how they're pumped or given to us. And finally, geysers in which we're going to have a pressure buildup caused by blockage in this pipeline that leads to the eruption of water from beneath the earth.